Okay, so Scott and Marlene are doing their OnStar call, and as we're waiting on that, look what's out there. Not the UPS truck, no. ZR1 is coming off that truck right now. I'm assuming that it is because it shows in transit. I know that we've got a Z06 going to Texas for Chris, but Brandy also has a ZR1 that's going to Michigan. You got some prep to do, baby. We gotta hurry up and get Chris's car done. We got a ZR1 coming. Might be a ZR1 on that truck right now, yeah. is what I said. It should be, that's what I'm thinking. We got a Z06 and a ZR1, so uh, we'll actually do a full PDI of the ZR1 with Chuck. And I know some of you folks have watched preps already on how to prep the ZR1. You and I both know they've done it all wrong. Yeah. You know, you got guys open crap at the showroom and stuff like, no, no, no. Chuck and I are going to show you how to do it right. Well, well, he's going to show you. I'm going to watch. And so are you guys. <laughs> so we're going to do the Z06 for Chris. Uh, his car's still over there. Uh, so you go have some work to do, sir. Let's get her done. Yeah, that's right. That's what I like. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it was a false alarm, no ZR1 yet. Sorry, Randy, but Chris in Houston, there you go, second one from us. She has arrived, I'll be in touch with you. Looking forward to you coming back up here, getting this one, buddy, thank you so much. Hey, I'm sorry for the tease, Randy, I was just being spontaneous and I saw the truck pull in and I know that it's in transit and I just assumed that the ZR1 would be on there, but I still anticipate it coming sometime soon. Well, I didn't intend to turn the camera on and probably should wait before I turn the camera on because it's so hot, it's so humid. I come out of the air-conditioned office. This is what we get when we walk outside. It's all foggy. I'm sorry you guys can't see me, but we... Ah, this needs to clear up. We need to hurry up because Randy's ZR1 is actually here now and coming off the truck. So I've got to capture that for you guys. And we'll also include showing you the prep process of the ZR1, a little bit different on that front splitter. The thing is so gosh darn big. All right, is that a little bit better? <laughs> okay, good morning and welcome back. And thanks for joining us on this channel, sharing anything and everything Corvette from the retail side, from the enthusiast side, from the ownership side, from the arrival side of a ZR1. We assume this is Randy's car. Uh, I only have one ZR1 in transit. Now this should have came on the truck with Chris's Z06 going to Houston, but that's okay. We're glad that it's here and I'm looking forward to seeing my past customer that I haven't seen in, oh my gosh, it's, it's got to be eight, nine years. Man, do those blue calipers look great in the sun. Woohoo! All right, we're going to get out of the way, let him do his thing. There's a lot more to come of this ZR1. Now, you saw Chris's Z06 prep process. We're going to show you a little bit of this when it's getting prepped because it's a ZR1. Uh, it'll be a little bit more of a condensed version because some of that stuff is the same, but some of the components that are different from the other Corvettes, we'll definitely share that with you guys right here on the channel and do it the right way. Right, he's got a little bit to do before he actually takes that down off the truck. But one thing I want to tell you guys regarding ZR1, uh, if there's, you just can't be in that hurry to wait. Uh, it's unfortunate, the allocation process, the distribution process, and yes, I know, there's dealers right now that have ZR1s sitting in their showroom, and they're doing this. You are an idiot! <laughs> It's one of the big reasons I get frustrated on that because they didn't have a customer for the car. They want to play games with the marketplace where I'm turning away people each and every day. Even my customers that are on a list and they're guaranteed a car, they're frustrated because it's just, it's just not moving fast enough. Remember guys, I told you, it's moving slow. But the win is, you at least, at least you know you got a car coming. I mean, I think GM at one point said that their estimated production was going to be right around 200 a month when it came to ZR1. Well, when uh, Randy's car was built, they were about three Three months into production of ZR1. His VIN number, 574. So it's kind of following suit of that 200 per month, uh, if you will, just to give you an idea. So there's no way to rush this as much as you're ready, as much as I'm ready, as much as I want to. You know, we definitely anticipate that there's going to be a second year for ZR1, and I'll start that list coming up toward the end of the year, beginning of the year, and start reserving spots. But there's no reason, again, to be in a hurry to wait. So stay tuned. If you're looking to be on that list, you can email me via the email address that's up on the screen right now. I do appreciate that future consideration. Once we get to that point, then we'll start answering questions and so forth. Just just if you're interested in a 2020 ZR1, uh, then put your name there in the email. If not, then just hang tight. Uh, we're going to keep you up to date every step of the way, good or bad. We're going to definitely tell you the way it is, so you're making your decision based on fact. And that's the value story and how we represent Corvette. Oh my gosh, I had to turn the camera back on. It... You guys know I like to tease you a little bit about things coming up on the vlog or this or that, just to kind of keep you watching and stuff like that. Randy, 
it was not intentional to tease you second time now that we thought that this was the arrival of your ZR1. It is not. Uh, well, you know what? I got a little concerned because I saw it. It was gray. It was the right wheels and all that kind of stuff. And then I go in and look at the order because I know that he had ordered the ZTK packages. And I'm underneath the car and I'm looking at it. I'm like, wait a minute. Those aren't ZTK tires. So I run back inside. I, I check the order. Yeah, he ordered ZTK. No, that's not a ZTK car. Uh, so I talked to the driver. said, I'm getting three of these today, right? And he says, oh, no. <sighs> so apparently which we we anticipated you know from the outset uh, that there's a delay uh, in getting the carbon fiber materials on this car so many people are representing this car saying oh zr1 is a uh, it's a limited production car no it's not it's a controlled production car because let's face it this carbon fiber stuff that they put on the car there's so much of it exposed on the outside of the car that it's just gorgeous elegant classy Kick ass! Such a big time process on getting that stuff. If that wasn't the case, then we'd, we'd have the availability like we did on Z06 for ZR1. Yeah, see, I'm, you can see I'm sweating already. I mean, it was so hot, my gosh. But I had to come back out here because coming off the truck is another one of our past customers' cars, and I do appreciate his order. <laughs> what a cool guy. Local guy here at Ohio. He ordered an orange Z06 convertible. You know, these cars that are coming off right now, these were built after Randy ZR1 and they're and they're here already. That's vlogging right. Turn the camera on, little venting, little sharing, little discussion. It's gonna be a pretty car though. Orange with the Kalahari yellow calipers. This is gonna be a uh, gonna be a real classic car. Okay. Our inventory guy Pete's gonna bring it around. There she is Jerry. I appreciate not only your continued business, but I know that you uh, support and watch our YouTube channel as well. So thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, do you have time to check one for me, please? About an hour? Okay, I'll give you a call back. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Okay, so we just tried to call Bowling Green where they're actually holding the car so I can get some kind of a shipping update. I don't like to call and bother them too often, but they're always really, really nice and they always check and give me status to let me know if it's in the yard, if it's on the truck, if it's on hold or what have you. Uh, with cars being built after Randy's ZR1 and his car still not here and others arriving, yeah, I, I got to make that phone call for him. Now, before I called down to Bowling Green, I was able to check this. This is the internal stuff going on with the order. I can see the whole event history from the time that I entered it in the order, uh, any changes that were made, uh, and then, of course, the build sequence. So I can see that it was broadcast for production at 518. It was actually produced on 66. It was available to ship on 6.7, invoice to the dealership on 6.7, so the car now exists in our inventory, we start paying on it. Uh, it was also then immediately bayed, and here's the timestamps. Uh, it was bayed on 6.7, uh, so waiting for shipping, or in this case, we assume, uh, waiting on parts. Uh, last time this car was touched in the system was 6.9. And I'm recording this on 619, okay? So 6-9, the last time it was touched, it was still bayed, uh, still waiting on something. One hour later. All right, let's call back and see if we get some kind of an update for him. Uh, keep us up this private. Hey, it's uh, Rick calling back from Coughlin. Do you have time to check one? Is your system back up? Uh, uh, 800 574. Hmm. Well, as I said, we've had two trucks up here already that have dropped off in the last couple of weeks. And they brought one car, three cars, you know, so. Okay, I appreciate you checking. All right. Thank you. Yeah, so I didn't want to put her on the vlog without asking her. That wasn't proper, so sorry. You guys didn't hear all of that. But basically, she was saying, it, she goes, it's an 800, which means that's the VIN sequence for ZR1, and those are being handled differently. She says, so that's still being held by General Motors. She goes, until we get it, uh, we can't put it in a load and ship it to you. So GM's still holding that car, which very well could be from what the driver said earlier this morning when we were out there that uh, they're waiting on some carbon fiber parts. But... My thought is, well, if that's the case, I mean, that shouldn't hold up the shipping because the carbon fiber parts are shipped separately to the dealership anyway. So uh, regardless, it's not here. It's being held. We checked on it. We shared it with you on the vlog. 
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed that small little segment. But I mean, that's, I just wanted to share with you, that's some of the stuff that I actually go through. When I say I want to share the things I do in the retail representation, uh, that's part of the stuff I go through. Sometimes we just don't share that. It, it, it's worth the wait. At least he's got a car coming. But again, that was just a small little segment. Those are the things I do behind the scenes. Call, follow up, check statuses, things like that, just to give you guys the right information and the right anticipation for when the car does arrive. And then when it gets here, it's just not you know like that and ready. We still have a process as far as scheduling. And you saw just the time it takes for Chuck to get that ready. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm saying you saw that. I'm assuming that I've already aired Chris's PDI vlog, but I got a funny feeling I'm putting this vlog up before that, so I apologize if I'm getting a little confusing. Uh, if that's the case, and this vlog airs before his, uh, we're trying to finish that edit and get that up for you right away, uh, which would probably be in real time would be tomorrow. So uh, thanks again for joining us. Now, the intention of doing a shorter vlog today and just kind of talking to you guys real quick was to announce the winners from our Corvette racing vlog. So let's do that. Okay, gang, I'm going to announce the winners here in just a second, and I'm sorry for the segment that we were outside looking at the ZR1. I didn't intend to make this a vlog vlog per se today, but I guess we did, so thanks for taking the time to watch. But some of that may have seemed out of context because when I was filming that in my mind, I had thought that I had already aired Chris's Z06 PDI video. Curveballs just keep coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got all kinds of free time. Now, let me just say this about the Le Mans video. Yeah, that was pretty cool just before the race. I've been saving that clip, and man, oh man, I'd love to seeing inside the C7R. Oliver Gavin did a great job explaining that, and I thought it was interesting, and it was fitting for our Corvette channel. Now, so many of you made so many comments on there. I was impressed with the response that we had, and even more impressed with the feedback that you've been given to this channel, and I love seeing your pride and your passion for Corvette. This is definitely pretty cool for me to be a part of it, and you have no idea how much your comments had uplifted my spirit uh, in the timing of those uh, were perfect. Let me just let me just leave it at that. Now, those of you that made a comment in that Le Mans video, you were entered to win some prizes. Just another way, I just want to say, hey, thanks, and spread a little of that Corvette cheer, if you will. So prizes three, four, and five are going to win the YouTube logo hat pin, the limited, these, you won't find these in the store anymore, C7R race car. This is kind of like the one that Oliver Gavin was holding in the thumbnail of the video. And then also, too, a Corvette racing folder and a 2019 brochures. Number five goes to Scott Maxwell. Congratulations and thanks for being a part of our channel. Number four goes to DJ Bullerman. Congratulations. And number three is kind of a, a bunch of letters all together. It's C-I-T-E-K-A-R-E. -E. Uh, that's your handle and thank you. Congratulations. You're the winner. Now, prize number two was also the racing folder, the 2019 brochure, the YouTube logo hat pin, and the YouTube logo 118th scale diecast. That goes to Venom Hiss 910, otherwise known as Mike in North Carolina. Hey, congratulations, man. And number one is also going to be the hat pin, the racing folder, the 19 brochure, and the limited edition, the only place on the planet you will find a wrapped camouflage diecast Corvette. This thing is really special. It really is. I love this thing. I'll never get tired of this. That prize goes to, we've got more to give away, so stay tuned. Number one goes to Rod Marshall. All right, congratulations, man. Thank you so much. Oh, and I apologize. Part of the number one prize, Rod, you also get the 143rd pullback Corvette race car. <laughs> I forgot. It was just sitting there. I forgot to put it in the video. But yeah, you get that too, man. All right, now, those of you that won, congratulations once again. And what I want you to do with your handle is below the video in the comments, log in, give me your email address. I'm going to email you directly so I can get your address, and then I'll delete that for privacy. But that way I know it's you, and then we can get this stuff out to you as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, I've got more giveaways coming up. Uh, you know, we were talking about ZR1 today. Uh, I've got a couple of extra of these. I was able to snag a couple extra. The box set of the 2019 brochure and the 2019 specific ZR1 only brochure. These are coming up in a future vlog. Make sure you're subscribed, thumbs up the video, come back and see us.